We've got a bottom club leg in this at home. If we don't win this, we've got some massive problems. We have problems anyway. I mean, look at our team. We've got Cariso and Rami injured. We actually, our people will be back from suspensions, won't they? So Radu will come back in. And Mariano will come back in. So that's that's fine. Play them automatic. Now, defence. Uh, it's going to have to be Gonzalez at centre-back. It's not ideal, but we haven't got any other options. Crondelli's done pretty poorly. Can we play? We can bring in Zonzi back. I'm getting rid of Vasquez. He's disappointed me for a while now. Let's put Nazri in the middle. We're going to put Vitolo on for... No, we're going to leave Vitolo on the bench, actually. Jovetic and Sarabia are in decent form. So, oh, well, they've gone with a 4-2-2-2. Of two defensive midfielders. They've got Nabal Elzar. That's a blast from the past. Right. I'm going to assertively say I expect nothing but a win from this match. There is still a chance of a second place finish. We just need Real Madrid to slip up. It's unlikely, but it could happen. Elzar. Ibora wins the header. Jovetic. Very midfield battle at the moment. Sarabia. And still going. And that just... Did that hit the post? It did. Hit the outside of the post. But we are having plenty of possession at the moment. We're about midway through the first half. Oh, for goodness sake, these these injuries. Maris Mariano and Mikado's not on the bench. So we don't have any other left backs. Right. He's got a twist in it. He stay he's got to stay on. We don't have any left right backs on the bench. Half time. Barely any highlights apart from that hit the post. We're not winning. This isn't good enough. We've got possession. We're having shots. We're attacking, and we're working the ball into the box. Because I'm not. If we don't win this, then we have got massive, massive issues. Nazri to Jovetic. Jovetic with a shot. It's saved by Champagne. I bet he's a bubbly character. We are dominating this game, but we have no goals to show for it. But Jovetic here. Oh, how come on? Score! 18 shots. Not a single one has gone in. Radu to Nzonzi. Vieto, there's Sarabia. Uh, Vieto might have gone in by itself, but Sarabia there just to make sure. And after 50 minutes, we finally have a goal. So uh, Nzonzi floating the ball over to Vieto. The header over the goalkeeper. I think it was going in. The, the defender may have actually cleared it before then. So Sarabia there just to make sure. We finally have a lead. Uh, we're going to bring on Vitolo. We know he's good. He's been one of the best players of the, of the, uh, of the uh, season. So, uh, yeah, we know he's good. Come on, double your lead, guys. 63 minutes. Here is Nzonzi. Nazri to Radu. Radu with a cross. And there's Vieto. And we're finally getting somewhere. That's 2-0. And then Radu with the cross. We missed him last game. We really did. And Vieto with uh, the good header. 20 minutes left or so in the game. Leganes have had just one shot. So, uh, we've got this game tied down. There's no way they're going to come back from this. Uh, ooh, almost 3-0 there. A couple of blocked shots. We've got a corner. We've had almost 30 shots in this game. I just wonder if there's anyone who can play even slightly at right back. There isn't. Okay. Gonzalez is going to have to move to the right. Uh, we'll just play him as a very defensive fullback. Uh, Radu will move into the middle. And we'll get Akiemi on, on the left. Yeah, not ideal, but if we want Mariano for the next game, well, let's do that. We've got 15 minutes left. Leganes have uh, not been in this game at all. So, yeah, not long left now. It's 2 0. There's only a few minutes left. So, we've got this game tied down. And Zonzi to Nazri. Here is Sarabia and Vieto. And that's 3 0. And that is absolutely game over now. Two goals for Vieto today. Good performance. And uh, Nzonzi. And there was Sarabia. Passing to Vieto and then on the right foot. Good finish. Drilled shot into the far corner. Uh, Going to get Crondeli on for Nasri. And that will see us out. I think only a couple of minutes left. Just injury time. And that is it. 33 shots to 3. Full control of this game. That's 3-0 full time. That's better. If Real Madrid uh, lose or draw, we could still get second place. But uh, Mariano will miss the final game. Uh, his knee injury keeping him out. For 7 to 11 days. Okay, we're going to keep an eye on Real Madrid. Barcelona are now too far gone. 
I think Rael could still catch them, but um, it's unlikely. Let's see. Yeah, Rael could still catch them. Uh, Real Madrid play here on the Saturday. We played on the Friday night. So let's see what Real Madrid do. If they win, then we can't catch them. They won 4-0. So uh, it's third place. We've got third place. And that is uh, absolutely tied down now. They beat Osasuna 4-0. Why couldn't we do that? Because we're not Real Madrid, obviously, clearly. So the question now is, against Granada, do we play a full team? Or do we experiment and play some youngsters? Because we have nothing to play for now. So um, I think we need to find some uh, young players in our B squads, maybe. Call them up and see what they're made of. So Barcelona, they do the double in the end. The other one being the, uh, the Super Copa, which they defeated us in. At the start of the series, at the start of the season. And uh, yeah, they've added La Liga to that. Alright, so let's see who we've got in this B team then. It could come up. So Carrascal is a, a possibility. The 18-year-old uh, Colombian. Um, although, I don't know if we'd be able to play him because he's not registered. I'm not sure how that works. Alternatively, we've got Batuba on the left wing, the Frenchman. Uh, Kuro on the right. Won't play too many youngsters. Just maybe one or two. Maybe I have him on the bench. We've also got Lasso. Uh, we'll probably get sold because uh, I don't see myself playing him like at all. His attributes are already going down and he's 23. And he's wanted as well. Who's he wanted by? Gihon. So I reckon we cash in on him as well. He's got a 7.5 million release clause. Try and sell him for like 4 or 5 million. Looking at the C squad. I don't think these guys are quite ready yet. Porto Sub and Dura. You know, next season, you know... We might play him in the odd friendly and, you know, uh, maybe cup games, stuff like that, because those two have got fantastic potential. Alejandro Pozzo, I don't know if I've shown this guy. He looks fantastic. Okay, so uh, Michael Crondelli is retiring at the end of the season. That's come kind of a bit of a surprise, actually. He's 33, 33 years old. He's 34 next month. He's getting the old game. So, and I had, I had, there's a gentleman in the comments... Asking me, you know, a while ago, why aren't we playing him? Uh, after he came back from injury, he had a crucial injury. And um, the truth was, at the point, you know, he was just back from injury. You know, he was always going to get games at the end of the season. It was just a matter of when. So, um, he got his games. He's done quite well, to be fair. And now he's going to he's set his date for retirement. So, uh, that's come at a bit of a surprise. I wonder if we could ask him to reconsider. But going for one more year, because his contract expires at the end of the next season... So, um, we'll see if he comes back to us. But, um, you know, one more year, he might do well. He will consider our proposal. That's okay. Now, if we get at least a point against Granada, we will equal Sevilla's points tally record. So, that would be a nice thing to win for. We win, we break that record. And uh, we're also, we've uh, equaled the number of wins in the season at 23. So, if we win, we will break that record. So, but hopefully breaking records against Granada. So, we're going to play our full team. Sevilla Atletico, our B squad, they are safe in the Tuzaguna Division. Let's see how they ended up there. Uh, they had a very good tw uh, 12th place, actually. I don't know if that's the end of their season or not. I think they've got two more games left. But um, 12th place, is that good? I don't know. I don't know where they were predicted to finish. Well, they were predicted to finish 20th and maybe get relegated. I don't know if that's what happens in the second league. But um, exceeding expectations. Well done, Sevilla Atletico. So... They're doing well. Although, they're, um, I've got a feeling their coaching needs improvement. I don't know if that's something we can do. Because uh, it's not our squad. But um, if we're going to have youngsters coming through the ranks. We want to have the best coaching set up in those leagues. I don't know if that's something I can affect or not. I missed Dubora getting injured. When did that happen? Slip disc. I must, I must have missed that. I didn't even see that happen. Okay, Crondell is in. Mariano could play, but I'm not going to risk him, so we'll have to bring Mercado in. We're actually, we're going to start Ganso in the cam. We haven't seen him for a while. It's going to be his last game for the club. He's moving to Salto Vigo in the summer, so we're going to give him a bit of a send-off. He did score one goal in his 27 appearances. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play him. Otherwise, I think we'll leave it as it is. Uh, actually, I'm going to put Vitola one for Jovetic. And that's it. Okay, Sevilla so win. And your break records. And they've gone defensive again. Three at the back. Three midfielders and two wing backs. So, uh, yeah. Um, these fans have been fantastic. Give them one last performance to cheer for. That's a decent team talk. Away against Granada. 
Let's see if we can end the season with a win and break some records. We've got a corner here, 17 minutes in, and it's a goal. Pereja with a finish. Second goal of the season for Nicolas Pereja. And a 1-0 lead, 18th minute. Granada, not a single shot on target yet. We've got lots of possession, and uh, we are leading, so that's the important stat there. Um, not too bad. We'll one that up. Uh, but I reckon we can do better than that. Give an eye on Vieto again. It's not been great by him. Of course, a lot of these players are on loan. Vieto, Nasri, Jovatic. So we might not be seeing them again unless we get permanently or loan them again. Whoa, whoa. God, guys, you're giving me a panic, panic attack then. Pereja scored at one end. Well, he almost scored in the same goal, but for the other team. Can I that goal a bit too much, I think? Here is Stefan Radu. And uh, tries to find Sarabia, but doesn't quite get there. Here's Mercado. Cranlevita to Ganso. Here is Nzonzi. Vitolo. Vieto. Sarabia. Good save, Ochoa. Falkia keeps it in play. Got another highlight here. 59th minute. Sampa to Kravitz. And uh, Ramos. And they've scored 1-1. 58 minutes played. Granada have uh, come out in the second half and done well. We're going to attack. I'm also going to get Vieto off. Uh... And uh, bring on Moreno. Half season for him has been... It's been okay. It hasn't been anything too special. But he's only been with us for half a season. So we can't expect an immediate impact. But I think he's got about five goals. Which uh, is it's okay. It could be better, but it could be a lot worse. Only 20 minutes left in this game. It's still 1-1, but still time to get a winner here. Sarabia passes to Nzonzi. Mikado to Ganso. Sarabia to Mikado. And uh, the cross is dealt with well by Pereira. And Zonzi, great tackle there. Radu. Here he is. Ganso. Vitolo. Back to Radu. Still got it. Ganso. Radu again. The Romanian has been one of the best signings. Well, he was the only signing at the start. Here's Mercado. And Vitolo. There we go. And that's 2-1. 70 minutes played. Gerard Moreno passing the ball out to the right back. Mercado. And then Vitolo. Great volley. And Ochoa. Doesn't get to it. And we lead 2-1. Now we're going to go standard. 15 minutes left. But Sarabia going to come off. Going to bring on Sami and Nazari. At the moment, we are set to break the record for points tally and number of wins. We're on 82 points, which is a great total. I mean, some seasons that will win you the league. So, yeah, really good. Only a few minutes left now. Uh, we're going to get Ganso off. I'm going to try and defend... Crondelli on. Crondelli is potentially retiring, so he's got to have a send off of some sort, hasn't he? If he is going to retire, of course, I would like him for one more year, but we will see. Only two minutes plus injury time. We could get a third here, though. Vitolo cutting inside and just wide with the shot. Well, they've got a late corner here. Don't you dare get rid. Thank you, Pereja. Rico, take as long as you want over this goal kick. Ingasson heads it forward. And that is full time. Granada won Sevilla 2. And we end with a win. You know, it started off a bit slippery with a bad defeat against Real Madrid. And then throwing away the lead against Osasuna. But the last two games, we did what was expected of us. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. And, uh, yeah, third place finish. 82 points in the end, which is, as I said, it's a really good total. We've actually lost the same number of games as Barcelona and Real Madrid. We've just drawn more. So... That is a really good season, actually, thinking about it. We've had a really good season. We've had some silly... Def I mean, the defeats were quite silly. 3-0 against es Espanyol. I think there was a home defeat against... Was it Malaga? Sociedad, home defeat. Uh, and what was the other one? Oh, Valencia was the home defeat. That was the other one. We lost to Valencia, didn't we? So, um, yeah, and the other one was Real Madrid. That's expected of us. So, silly defeats, really. If it weren't for those, we would probably be champions. Eight points... I mean, three of those games that we lost that we probably shouldn't have lost would have seen us on 91 points and winning. So, uh, yeah, it's just some silly results cost us in the end. Uh, we've got £2.1 million. Uh, well, the squad got £2.1 million. We've got £3 million for our final position in the league, which really isn't that much at all for, like, winnings. That really isn't a lot of prize money at all. Some some countries, the prize money is millions, like, there's loads. But this... We only got 3.6 million. That really isn't very much at all. Some people get loads. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is just have a look for the uh, rewards at the end of the season, the awards, and uh, yeah, just see like who who wins what. 
and yeah, just have a look around really. So it was a record points total in the end for Sevilla, 82 points, and a record 24 matches won. That's really good. Uh, Sergio Rico actually came second for goalkeeper of the season. Ter Stegen came third, uh, first rather, and Jan Oblak came second. Uh, we also have Mariano in the team of the season, and Sarabia is amongst the substitutes. So we've actually got players in our team of the season. Uh, we came third for the most improved team. Uh, Franco Vasquez wants to talk about leaving to join Juventus. Here's the thing now, holding on to our players is going to be difficult. He's got a 21.5 million release clause. I understand your reasoning, but I'm going to strengthen the squad as soon as possible to give you what you want without having to let you go. Okay, right, yeah, we've made him happy. They haven't bid, so they may, I don't know if there's interest or not, if he's wanted by them, but there's been no bid. So this is hypothetical and there's no point talking about it. Well, the Copa del Rey final was about to be played. Now it was Granada and was it Espanol or was it Sociedad? It was Sociedad and they won it on penalties. So Real Sociedad win the Copa del Rey. We really need to think about the people that are returning on loan. Do we play them or do we send them out again? Do we cash in on them? It's going to be interesting to see what happens with them. Let's actually have a look at them. So we've got Colo Playanka, who is... Uh, he's not going to be joining us anyway, because he's joining Schalke permanently, so let's not look at him. Uh, so we've got Longlet, the young left-back, who played nine times for Al Ali in Saudi Arabia. Scored once and did quite well, actually, so he may have a future. Cristoforo was on loan at Fiorentina uh, and only played one game, so... Uh, and in that game, he only played 12 minutes. So he did not even get a game, which is a bit disappointing. But, um, he looks like a decent midfielder. You know, he could be um, back up for Nzonzi if Crondelli does retire. Uh, Correa, he went on loan to Palermo. Played a few games for us. Didn't do too well. And similar at Palermo. Very average ratings. So uh, I think we try and sell Correa. Lastly, we have Juan Munoz, 21-year-old uh, striker on loan at Levante. Uh, and again, he didn't do too well there. Two goals in eight appearances. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think Longlet's the only one of those that maybe stays. Maybe Cristoforo. We'll see what he's like. But uh, Correa and Munoz, we will sell both of those. Arsenal won the Champions League. They only won the bloody Champions League. Arsene Wenger is a European title winner manager. Wow. So, uh, the fans player of the season with 42% of the vote was Vitolo. Second place was Pablo Sarabia, 24%, and in third place was Stefan Radu, 21%. Goal of the season was Franco Vasquez's goal against Mercia, which was a Copa del Rey game. Signing of the season, no surprise to see that this Stefan Radu, 5.4 million in the end from Lazio. The best young player of the season was Matthias Kranvitter, 24 years old. So, the season review then. Uh, we were expected to be amongst the leading contenders for a continental football qualification spot and they've lived up to that billing by securing a place for themselves. So uh, yeah, really good. Uh, lost in the last 16 of the Champions League to Monaco. Third in La Liga. Uh, got to the fifth round of the Copa del Rey. Kind of disappointed in that. Uh, didn't win the Super Cup. Didn't win the Super Copa. Uh, best performance of the season was the win against Villarreal. The worst performance, no surprise, it's 3-0 defeat to Espanyol. Highest number of players used in the Liga, and 93% full was our stadium. 42,000 people turned out to see us on average. Okay, I think we're running out of money, because the, the plans for the improvements to the youth and training facilities have been scrapped. So, does that mean that the money that was spent towards it is gone? Has it just like disappeared, the money we've spent so far? I don't know. Maybe. £13 million in the red. We need to sell in the summer. I don't want to sell, but I think I'm going to have to because we are in debt. Um, but yeah, the team is all on holiday now. That's the season all over. It's all cleared up now. And um, yeah, well, we go again, I guess. So signings, there'll be plenty of those. I'll go for pre-season. I'm going to have to sell some players. But then we need to get good players. And we need to buy cheap. That's what Sevilla do. They buy cheap get massive profit that's what we need to do because we need to get out of the red and we need to get back into the black so uh yeah let's see what happens i think we're going to struggle to keep hold of these players every player in spain has a release clause i've realized i didn't know that that every player has to have a release clause in his contract which makes it very hard to keep hold of our best players 
So uh, we are going to struggle to do so this season. I think Vitola might be on his way out because he's got a 30 million release clause and someone's going to offer 30 million for him, I know it. So we're going to struggle to keep hold of our best players this summer. So I think it might be an entirely different squad next season, but we will wait and see. But if you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below, leave in the comments. If you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, hit subscribe. Go and watch from my other stuff as well. I've got a Swindon save. I've got a playlist there. I've done some draft videos. There'll be more of those in the future. And hopefully some against other managers as well in the in the FM community. But yeah, um, that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next season. Goodbye.